Okay, everybody, let's get the next game fired up. So here's here's my speech for this one, all right? I'm looking at my notes. I, I actually have a notepad with like a little bit of notes here just so I can remember some of this stuff. Um, so this game actually came out last year in 2019. Kind of going back to what I said about FTL a little bit. This is another one of these early access success stories. This was This game was in early access for a very, very long time. And it got to be really popular. It it was up for a couple Game of the Year awards last year. I don't think it won any of them. And it, it's like some of the minor categories I'm talking about, not like the big categories. But it's just, it's another one of those games that was built with uh, community help. And the developers listened to their fans and they were able to put together something that's really, really fun. This is another one of these super chill games. And so, ladies and gentlemen, game number six on the list is, uh, is something I've never streamed. I'm pretty sure I've never streamed this. But it is, as it loads up here. Here we go. A game that has a very unusual art style as well. Slay the Spire. Anybody seen this game? I'm curious. So at, at its core, what this game is... Oh crap, what did I do? Uh, it's not what I meant to do. Oh, I hit continue, that's why. So at its core, what this game is, it's a dungeon crawler with very light RPG elements. And it's also a deck builder. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do standard here. And you get to pick from uh, three characters. There's a fourth one you unlocked later. So I think today we're gonna play this character. The Silent. So really big with daggers and poisons. Starts with 70 HP. 99 gold. And you can see that I still have five unlocks re remaining. I've only got about 10 hours in this game. We'll go ahead and do an embark. And we talked to the giant whale because, you know, why not? All right, and so we get to pick from a couple different options here. And I might have to move my camera here in a second. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. That's that's weird. And this is randomized every time. I've never seen that option. I think I'd rather take the max seven hit points. So I'm at 77. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave. And then here is the dungeon map. And again, this is randomly generated. So we have to go all the way through this. We get to choose our own path, and we have to make it to the boss at the end. After you kill this boss, you then go to the next level. So it's one of these games where it's... Basically, you're trying to see how far you can get, and then as you're doing so, it's like you're upgrading your cards, you're trying to get more health, you're trying to get more trinkets, so forth and so on. So let me uh, let me look at this this pathing path here, which which one looks the best? Uh, I'm thinking left side. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go far left. So, how the deck building works in this game is. As you are beating these these creatures, as you're beating bosses, as you're going through the game, you will get more cards. And it'll actually come up and say, oh, what kind of card do you want? And I'll explain how the cards and all that works here in a minute. In addition to that, you're also able to level up and upgrade the cards. There's also shops where you can buy more cards. So up at the top of the screen, you see that I have, I have 99 money. I've got 77 health. Right now, I have no potions. Then, down over here, this 
icon right here that I'm hiding is how many points I have. And you'll notice that all the cards that I have are either one point or zero point. So obviously if I have three points, I can play three cards. If we take a look at some of the cards here real quick, very basic stuff. So it costs one, it does six damage. It costs one, gain five block, which is basically a shield. Uh, this one costs nothing, applies three damage, and will apply a one weak. And it says right there, weakened creatures will deal 25% less damage. So in addition to just attacking and blocking, you can also do states on them, like make them weaker and stuff like that. Now you'll see the enemy creature right here. It's a jaw worm, 41 health, and he has a sword 11. So that means he's going to attack next turn and do 11 damage to me. So I have to find a way to either block that or kill him in one turn, which is not gonna happen. So instead, if I do a defend gain five block, I'm gonna go ahead and play that card. I now have a shield for blocking five damage. Let's play another. I can now block 10. So next turn, I'm gonna take one damage. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my neutralize, deal three and apply one a week, making him weaker so he can't do 11 damage. So we'll apply that to him. Now he can only do eight damage. So I can take no damage next turn. I'll be able to shield through all of it. I still have one point. Maybe I should move my camera here real quick. One second, chat. If I move right here, is that is that a good spot? It might cover up some of the cards. This is another game where there's just no good spot to put your camera. Uh, I'll try here. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and use my one remaining point and just go ahead and attack him for six. So now I'm out of points. Nothing I can do. And turn. So we blocked all the damage. And now it's my turn again. So next turn, he's going to do seven. So we have to find a way to uh, deflect seven. So there's five. There's ten. So I'm good. Let's go ahead and strike him for six. And that's it. And turn. So once you kind of know what you're doing, it starts going pretty quick. And the encounters get harder as you level up and, you know, all that fun stuff. So he has five block and he's going to do seven damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do this card, which will gain me eight, but I actually have to discard one as well. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of a defend card. Confirm. And now I have to try and get through his armor. So let's do a zero. So that's three. Apply a weak. Down to five. And I still have two more that I can do. So there's six. He blocked. So he's down to 16. And I actually burnt all my cards there, too. But in this game in particular, taking damage is very bad. Because getting your health back is not easy. So he is going to try and... He intends to block and use a buff. So what I could do, with since he's got 16 left, I could just burn everything I had into him. But unfortunately, I didn't draw enough damage. So I can do 12. Well, plus he's blocking 5. So he's down to 9. And also, the blocks do not stack. So if I apply a block here, you'll notice that I have 5 now. But I don't get to keep that. When it comes back to my turn, the block goes away. Oh, he just applied three strength, so he's going to do 14. I don't know if I can do enough to kill him. Because that would be... Uh, let me... just trying to think. So the strength increases his attack damage by three... I don't have enough block to do all of it either, so... Actually... Nope, I'm good. Okay, so once you kill the guy, you can add a card to your deck. Comes up with some options. I am gonna take the poison, the bouncing flask. So apply three poison to random enemy three times. And we get a fear potion and Google.
You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of a room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. So we could enter in, upgrading two random cards, but losing 15 HP, or we just walk away. In this case, let's do the enter. So here I have my first path. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, sack, which is talking to the vendor guy. Uh, do you have anything interesting for sale? Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Discard one card at random. That's interesting. Deal 4 damage for each skill you have in your hand. Whenever you are attacked, deal 3 damage back. Swift Strike is zero cost, six damage. I don't know. I'm kind of looking at this. I'll buy it. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, I will take the random. You make your way... Oh, good. I can heal all my damage. Um... You make your way down a long corridor. You see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. Upon closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet crackling noise. Well, crackling from above as you approach the objects. What do you do? Uh, I will banana. Another random. Oh, we oh, run into you again. Hi. Um, no, uh, yeah, I don't have wow. enough money. Oh, fireplace. Since we're max health, we can actually go to the smith and upgrade a card. Let's upgrade one of our strike cards. It's from a six to a nine. Um, mini boss or regular dude? No, I'll take the regular dude. Ah, slug creatures. So they're, so they're curling up, but they're also intending to do damage. They don't have that much HP on them. On receiving attack damage, roll up and gain six block. So... You know what? Let's do this. The ten damage. Okay, so now they have... Um, now I gotta do eight damage to kill him. That's ten damage going out. Let's go ahead and block it. And you know what? I might as well do this as well. So that'll weaken him. But yeah, you can probably see this is just like I said. This is one of these chill games. It's like you just kind of sit back and just like. Uh, let's uh, play some Slay the Spire. Chill out. <laughs> no, sit up, sit up. Oh, there's our bouncing, bouncing flask. All right, let's kill you. And I don't have any. I don't want to burn that on him. Because I don't think it's going to... Well, you know what? Let's try to experiment. I was going to say I don't think it'll kill him this turn, but I'm not sure. Wow, he's got nine poison. Actually, it, it, might, it might actually kill him on his next turn. Okay, okay. So, yeah, the poison takes effects on their turn. What's a flex potion? Five strength. Deal three damage five times. Draw one card, discard. Yeah, you know, riddle, riddle holes. Sure. Uh, mini boss. No, I'll take the campfire. <laughs> you always want the easiest path up the up the tree. So far, this has been a good run. Let's upgrade a block card.
Okay, so we can go treasure, fire, question mark, question mark, treasure. Or, uh, bag symbol. Numchucks? Every time you play 10 attacks, gain a, um, a dust, which is the extra play card currency. Right, go to the campfire. Man, this is like a really easy run so far. Let's upgrade a strike card. We found us a good path here. Question mark. Wait, why would I fall into a puddle? You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goo. Fascinating. You claw yourself out over several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. As you feel the goop in your ears, ugh. in your nose, goop everywhere. Ugh. Climbing out, you notice some of your gold is missing. Looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins combined with the gold from unfortunate adventures mixed together in the puddle. Let's gain 75 gold. It's raining money. Feeling the sting of the goop and the prolonged exposure starts to melt away your skin. But you manage to fish out the gold. I mean, we, I've got to... I've got... Man, we actually got up to this boss really, really fast. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helmet approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I am a cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Oh, sorry. I should have been shouting loudly. Um. 35. No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not doing any of this. Yeah, I don't trust this cleric. All right, let's go after this. Uh, I have like a lot of money now. <laughs> I would love to buy your trinkets because these are really good. Whenever you break an enemy's block to or apply too vulnerable, gain four plated armor. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that like a permanent block? Gain. Oh wait a minute, that tells. Or no, it doesn't. Gain 5 regen. Regen heals HP at the end of your turn. That's not bad. Choose one of three random power cards to add to your hand. You know what? I'm actually kind of looking at the regen. I kind of wish I knew what the plated, <laughs> the plated armor was, though. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Plated armor or regen? What's What are your thoughts? Funny enough, this one's more expensive, but I actually don't like it, what it does. Like, gain 10 block, deal 10 damage. That's pretty good, too. I still have enough to buy one. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking regen. All right. Oh, wait a minute. That was a potion. I totally misread that. My mistake. I thought that was uh one of these. Well, every path is the same. Hey slime guys, what's up? So that he's going to deal 15 to me. Let's do a bouncing flask. Let's start out with that. Poison these nerds. Um, oh, I should have just used that. Damn. Uh, that was a mistake. Well, I'm going to finally take some damage.
So this little guy, is he, how much is he, is he going to bleed out for? So he will bleed out. I, I can ignore him. So let's look at, and he, this guy is not even going to attack me. So let's strike him for nine. And I guess riddle with holes. Little slime will poison out. Oh, he's gonna lick me. Yeah. All right, he's gonna deal seven, but it doesn't really matter because he's dead. All right, let's do deal four damage to all enemies twice. Deal eight damage. And then next turn gain a card point. Dodge and roll. I mean, all three of these are great. Gain four block. Next turn, gain four block. I think I'm going to take flying knee. Oh, good. I'll be able to heal before the boss fight. Good. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm fighting a crystal entity. Uh, it's a hexaghost? Sure. 250 HP. Boy, I, I feel like I don't have what I need to kill this thing. I guess we're going to find out. Strike him hard. Strike him fast. Nine. Nine. Six. We don't know what he's going to do. Oh, God. He's going Super Saiyan. Crap. 12 by 6. I'm dead. Or wait, did I say 12? I meant 7. 7 by 6. There's no way I can block all that. It's just not possible. So I need to, I need to find a good combination of doing damage to him but still blocking. So here's a 10-10. I can't, or do I do Bouncing Flask? Uh, let's do the 10-10. That gives me one more. And then let's do Flying, or do I want to do a Defend? Let's do Flying Knee. Well, I'll block 10 of this. my face let's see here did three damage five times well he's only doing six next time a couple of these are gonna be discard cards so I feel like I need to make sure I play these in the right order so let's do let's do riddle with holes left. Let's do a Alright, I guess we're going to find out what happens. Do, do this one, so 8 block, discard. Oh, it's going to let me choose. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, do this one. Because I want to do all-out attack. Oh, I'm burned. 10 damage coming out next turn. So there it is. Eight, six, five. So we got that block. Let's do flying knee. I just feel like we're not doing that much damage to him right now. Six. Dash. That's ten. Here's nine. And then all out attack. Right, we got burned again. 
Okay, good. He's going to either block and use a buff, so we can really... We can finally poison him up. Let's do that. All right, there's nine poisons. I'm, I want to... Well, not that it matters, but... Don't have a lot of good options this round. We'll do that. He's down to 140. So he'll take nine damage a turn, I think. Oh, he's buffing up. Oh, fantastic. That's my burn card. So I'm going to take uh, two damage at the end of my turn. I have no I have no block cards here. You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We've got all these potions. All right, there's regen. Do I want to gain my strength now? I mean, I can use all these cards. Um, let's apply three vulnerable. We're gonna throw that at this guy. And I'm, just, I'm gonna burn all, burn all my potions here. Okay, so eight damage five times. That's good. Here's 14. Well, actually, it was 21. But... Yeah, so I'm healing for four for the next four turns. So he's going to hit me for eight. I can't do 54 damage, so there's a block. Strike for nine, strike for six. He's down to 32. Another burn card. All right, he's gonna hit us really hard now. Can I, so can I somehow do 25 damage? So that's six, that's 16. That's 19. I think I can do 19. Which is not enough. Uh, doing neutralize, that will weaken him. So now it's a 3x6 instead of a 4x6. That's a little bit of block. Let's go ahead and re-poison him. Ten damage here. He's down to six. Actually, he will—he will bleed out. Yeah, he will bleed out. We did that right. Nice. See, that's one of those things where it's like I haven't played this game enough to know some of that. It's like, oh, that's right. If we stack more poison on him, then it's gonna up it. But I don't necessarily know how much by. <laughs> Bullet time. <laughs> Obtain a random poison. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. That's interesting. I don't like the exhaust option on this, but poisons are good. I guess that's what I'll take. Give me some good loot. Gain card money at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. That's terrible. Gain card money at the start of your turn. You can no longer gain gold. Uh, what? Attacks that cost zero deal four additional damage. Oh, yeah. I'll play Assassin's Creed. That's like literally, the, that was the best option there anyway. The other two were garbage. Act two, the city. All right, what's gonna be our best path here? I'm thinking this one. Look at that, there's three question, or four question marks in a row. 
But this is guaranteed mini boss on this side, though. Boss, nothing, boss, campfire, mini boss. Something, treasure, mini boss. Man, do I want four of those in a row? That's crazy. Oh, look, it's a floating baseball. This thing has 40 guard at the start. Holy crap. It's only got 20 HP, well, technically 60 HP. Well, let's start working down that shield. He negated that, which we we removed that. That's fine. Neutralize him. He's gonna do ten damage to us. Here's a dash strike. now frail. That's not good. Gain 25% less block from cards for five turns. Ooh. Well, there's our poison. He's going to hit me for 20. And unfortunately, I don't have a good way of dealing with that. I guess let's go ahead and do this. Choose one of three random skill cards. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to burn that now. All enemies lose six strength this turn, and that's not bad for our current situation. So I'm not losing a ton of health. So 10 by 2 turns into 4 by 2. And I can still hit him for 9. Thing. Oh, here he is again with his 10 damage. Uh, if I apply a weak, that should help out. Now he's only doing 7. Which is exactly what the dash will give me. Finally got through that shield. We still have 3 more turns of uh, being frail. So he's going to do 20 damage. And I really have no way of getting through that. Oh, and he just gained more shield. This dude's tough. Well, this is going to hurt. Luckily, the poison goes through the shield, but... Let's riddle with... Well, is he going to bleed out? I think he... He should bleed out. Just to be safe. Oh, I could just kill him anyway. Doesn't matter. Attack potion. Apply five poison. Uh, yeah. Okay, now the madness can start here. While sneaking past a group of shrouded figures, one of them approaches you. Got anything, friend? Please, maybe some coin? I just need somewhere to stay. I have treasures I can trade. Seems deli 
delusional but harmless. We can actually obtain a relic for 85 gold. I could rob him. That's interesting. Become cursed shame. That's interesting. I've never seen that. You know what? What the hell? At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. I mean, that allows me to stack block now, but I've got to have it higher than 15. Uh... All right, I've got a serious question for chat. Do we take the left path? So a fight, vendor, fight, campfire. Or do we take the right path Question, 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 campfire. Left or right? What are we doing? Question all the way. Thing is, when we take the left path and we're killing dudes, we're getting more cards. But I suppose we could get cards the question mark way as well. It's just hard to say. But Linewalker says questions all the way. Hmm. Life needs more mystery in it. As you continue your ascent, thick black smoke begins to billow out of the ground and, and walls around you, concealing into three mass forms that start to speak. Another puppet of Nia, I think. Agreed, she always makes the funniest toys. You notice an oversized grin as the third addresses you. Ignore the others. Would you like a taste of our power? Receive five aspiration? I'm actually, I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna say no. How disappointing. Or apparition? Not aspiration? A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to you. For anybody who plays our D&D group, that sounds like Dehandra. Uh, hey there, stranger. Interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than training or blessing. I can make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're going to need it if you're one of those heroes with a death wish. Get jacked. Lose 3 HP, gain 2 strength, become a test subject, transform 2 cards, or obtain a relic. I would rather obtain a relic. And hope it's a good one. What's transform two cards mean? Transform into something else? I think I'd rather have the relic. At the start of each combat with three... Hmm. Yeah, at the, start, at the start of each combat with three strength at the end, lose your first turn. Lose three strength. I don't know if I really like that. I think I chose the wrong path here. Before you lies in an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. Pray, transform a card.
Oh. The power of the shrine flows through you. Your mind feels altered. Uh, we gotta rest. Mini boss time. A book projecting a hand with a sword with 161. Whenever you receive an attack damage from this enemy, add a wound to your discard pile. Oh, fantastic. The Book of Stabbing. Right. Sounds about, you know. All right. Get rid of the um, strike card here. Leaves me with one left. We'll do Flying Knee. Energized. Yeah, I really don't like that one all that much. So I have no good way of stopping this damage. Well, let's poison him. Get that kind of going. Um. Die, die, die. 13 damage. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Just trying to do as much damage as possible, I guess. Strike. Strike. So he's going to poison for five. Oh, thanks for all the wound cards. 21 he's going to hit me for. Well, here is a week. Now it's only 15. There's going to be a 10. Actually, you know what I should do? Because since I have that thing for the block, let's go ahead and just stack this, I guess. That puts me at 18. So I, I, shouldn't, I, I shouldn't lose all of it. Well, he's gonna hit me though, so should, yeah, no, I should I should have a couple left. What two? No, all of them. It's less than fifteen. No, boy, I don't know how you could stack that much block though. That's it's kind of crazy. All right, neutralize seven damage one week. That takes it to a four by four. Bouncing flask. Keep the poison rolling. He's now poisoned for 12 a turn. And let's go ahead and do this. That gives me... Three vulnerable, which I'm not going to do yet. That's all I can do, so I'm going to just have to take that damage. Ow. Getting all these wound cards. Apply five more poison. That's an eight and a five. Let's see, sixteen. I don't I can't get him low enough to kill him this turn. Could be the end of our run here. Fighting this thing. We're on 26. And he's gonna hit me for 21, and I got not much. Let's go ahead and apply this. Because he's still gonna bleed for 
15. Nope, there's nothing else I can do. Ooh. So he's dead next turn, right? Uh, I think I gotta hit him once. But then he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead either way. Well, we got him, but that hurt us a bunch. Whenever you apply poison, apply one additional poison. Oh, that's a good one. Dagger spray, leg sweep. Yeah, leg sweep is awesome. Where's the next campsite? I need it. I have 18 HP left. Deal 13 damage to all enemies. Mm. With my strength bonus, it's going to be a lot of damage going out. Okay, uh, I need to stop some damage here. Let's apply the weak to you. Oh, he's actually doing no damage now. So let's do this defend. And let's do... That's a 12 damage. I should probably do it since I have the strength. Let's do it to you. Ow. Ow. Oh god, that's a lot of damage going out. That is the the end of my career right there. So we've got to I think I've got enough to stop it, maybe. Alright, so there's 14 block. That would be in another eight. I weakened him as well. Can, well, I've, I've got to do this, so. I'm still dead. Or no, no, I'm fine. Now I'm dead. Well, he's doing no damage. Okay, so we got to do the block. I think I can kill this guy. Five damage. So I can block that. Leaves me with four. He's doing 12 next turn. Oh, I could use a smoke bomb to get out of this fight. Cause I'm, yeah. Smoke bomb. The potions saved us.
Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. Oh. So many artifacts right now. Please, vendor, oh. sir. Can you heal me? Ah. He's like, ah, no. I don't want to do that here. Trying to see if any of these <laughs> stay a while in mission. Yeah. I mean, choke is the only one that even looks decent here, so. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. The enemy loses 3 HP. Oh, campfire. Sweet, sweet campfire. Problem is, it's only going to take me to 27 HP. Oh, great. This is not... Oh, so we're, we're going to start this out right, huh? Okay, game. I can only block five of this damage that's incoming here. Well, let's do that. Let's pull that. See, choke has to be played first, so I'm not going to use that. I think I'm dead here. Oh, no, wait. I have 27 HP now. I'm a dumb dumb. I was still thinking I had four. Even though I know I just got healed. Alright, bouncing flask. It's like, wake up, wake up. Ow, my face. Oh, I'm also frail, too, so... Mystic is going to do eight. This guy's going to shield. He's going to take you down to six. Flying knee. Nine damage. Gain thorns. Um, let's go ahead and push all the buttons. Doing 12 next turn. Gain 10 block, apply 3 weak. It's 17. Oh, I'm actually done, done. He's still poison, too. Doing nine, six, just like barely surviving these fights. Oh, she heals. Oh, fantastic. That's three blocks. She's doing eight on attack. There's ten. Nine to her. All right, she's got to die. She's going to keep healing. She's got to die. I'm going to have one HP left, I think. He's doing 12. There's a neutralize. He's doing nine. That's a seven block. There's a six. Wait, what? Oh, 20 damage. Oh, he's dead. I actually stopped him. Good. Um, I was so worried about my health, I didn't even 
count how much HP he had left on whether or not I could kill him. We're also at the top of the hour. So I'm just going to poison the crap out of her. So she's losing 18 a round right now. Luckily, she's decided not to attack me anymore, so... So she's dead next turn. Flying knee. Neutralize. Oh, that, that was a good question mark. <laughs> oh my god. This guy with the freaking 60 health again. Alright, I feel like we gotta take down Mechanical Dude here. Neither of them are going to attack me, so I just need to really go after him here. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a lot of attack cards. And he negated that, which is fine. Are dazed. All right, 19 damage incoming. Escape plan gives me three. Or 16. It's not enough. Four. Strike him. Okay, I'm alive for another turn. Ooh, a beam attack. Nice. So, 20 damage this turn. Gonna drink the dexterity. 10 damage to all. Well, killed him. But unfortunately, that is going to end the run, I think. Wah, wah. Hey, we had a good fight. Let's... I guess. <laughs> hey, we actually got a new unlock, too. Awesome. Oh. Hmm. Let's go with Bane. Oh, no, I unlock all of them. I thought I had to choose. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Slay the Spire.